I am the moonlight that breaks through the darkness. Hey guys, it seems like I forgot to play the 5 year anniversary Mia skin when it came out, so here I'm going to play her. One of the weaknesses of Mia is that she is quite weak in the early game, so ideally it would be great if the tank of support can help her out a little bit in the early game. But once she gets just a couple of her core items, her damage will scale by a lot. Estes with flame shot is the new meta. The monkey should have waited a little bit until our minions are within the turret's range, then we can alter a dive with more ease. I, can that. I cannot use any of my skills and waste mana, I need to hold on and wait until I have enough mana to use old. Way of the bow, flexible, reserved, and understated. Wise choice. Not gonna lie, that was quite scary. Never back down or prepare for destruction. The way of the hunter, moderate, respectful. Oops. That is my turn. The moon may be dark, but our hope outlives everything. Gotta pan around the map and check if any of them, especially their jungler, is coming top. Gato is in the middle lane, now I can play more aggressively. Spree. 
never mind. The Krieg only procs once during that interaction. Also, he built Warrior Boots. Not the right time to 1v1 him yet. That was close, but now the question is, can I keep pushing or should I just go back? Once I see some of them on the map, I will 100% keep pushing. Very unlikely, their bottom laner will come top since Aurelapu is pushing his lane as well. Perfect. Este is coming to give me his blue fluid. Now I don't even need to recall to heal. Gotta show them that you appreciate them. I heard that's how you keep a relationship healthy. An enemy has been slain. Enemy has been slain. The way of the bow. Most of the enemies are dead and the rest are preoccupied in the bottom lane. We are safe to keep pushing. Once I get win of nature, I will feel a lot more comfortable during the team fight. And of course, nobody should be able to 1v1 me at this point. Look at Lapu, trying to recall taunt him. What a saucy Paka. Let's pretend that I'm backing so they take the bait. At this point, I'm extremely fed, I just want to keep fighting them. But I still shouldn't be too reckless and go first. I actually forgot if Gato's ult deals magic or physical damage. XD. But probably I should just use Flicker anyway. This nuts head, building him with full magic damage. 
No wonder he's dealing such an insane amount of damage. Watch your back. He built full magic items. I think we can try to kill him first. Only Minsitar remains alive. I just need to wait a little bit until he shows up and then use my ult to make a surprise entry. The way of the hunter. Moderate, respectful, and sincere. May the moon forever shine. Moderate. 